Okay, yes, I still have my stocking up even though it is the new year, but it's because I'm opening holiday Rapunzel, so it just makes sense to keep the stocking up. Hi! Welcome back to Christina Land, a place for grown-up gift givers and adult toy collectors. And yes, today I am opening the Holiday Rapunzel. It's from the Disney store and she costs, she normally costs, I meant to look this up before I said that, she normally costs, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I believe $49.98. $49.99, but because of the um, twice upon a year sale, she is right now, as of Thursday, January 6th. This is the day the 6th. Today is the 6th. Oh, that's right, yeah. So because she's currently on sale for the twice upon a year sale, she is $32.98. And I don't know how long that sale is going on. Unfortunately, it says for a limited time. I don't know how long. Hopefully, it'll still go when I publish this because that would be helpful. I think we would all appreciate that. If it does, though, go back to $49.99 tomorrow when I publish it, which will be Friday, um, would she be worth $49.99? So the back of the box is way too glossy for me to show it to you and uh, pause, so I'm going to read it. Tis the season for tidings of good cheer and warm wishes. Capture the wonder of the holidays in style with the special edition doll series featuring beloved Disney characters celebrating the magic of the season. Designed by Disney Store artists, this annual holiday keepsake is sure to be treasured by collectors and fans alike in celebration of the most magical time of the year. And since my Disney store is closed, super sad, I did have it shipped to me. And if you can tell, this side of the box is, let's see, like torn right here. This side, however, looks great. So if you are an in-store box collector, there's a highly, sadly, highly likely possibility you're going to have a damaged box. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram complain about this, so it's probably going to happen. I thought maybe it was because the box wasn't packaged necessarily well, but this side is fine, whereas this side, not so fine. All right, I'm going to pause so I can um, get it out of the box. I might just take out the box part to show you what she looks like before I completely unbox her. But I will time it all, and I'll be right back. You know what I should do? I should say, I'll time it all, and I'll be right back. Then do a pause, and then go like that. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, she's gorgeous. Also, that took me 9 minutes and 32 seconds to open, and I have tape on my sock. Didn't need to know that, but you're welcome. She's absolutely gorgeous. Um, she does not come with a stand. I put her on a stand. And I'm actually going to remove this platform so that you can see the top of her head. So this is the Rapunzel mold, or sculpt the Rapunzel doll. And she's so pretty. Like, I think I would pay $49.99 for her, honestly. Um, so her hair, her blonde hair is in a braid. She has a braid on top of her hair. She also has a plastic um, braid, like what looks like a plastic braid of her hair. Come on camera. There we go. That has white flowers, some, uh, looks like a poinsettia. There we go. I did it. I think it's a poinsettia. Maybe it's not. I'm going to call it a poinsettia. <laughs> what looks to me like what could be a poinsettia on her uh, plastic braided crown of hair. She of course has her green eyes, freckles, a closed smile, that is pink lips, a faux fur collar, that's very pleasing to the touch. If you watched my 
other videos, you know that touch is a big issue with me and if something does not feel good, oh, my fingers just don't like it. She has what I thought was a cape. So like in the back, you can see that it's not a cape because you can see the back of her dress. So I don't know. Do you know what you would call these? It's really pretty. It's like a dark purple and oh, there's another tie thing that I forgot to take out because I didn't see it like purple maroon whereas her dress I'd say is a royal purple uh, the bodice is a dark purple and then her faux corset it's not a real corset it's just little gold ribbon stitched in but it's not like a real corset and there's white decorative lace on the bottom of her bodice and like in the fake uh, corset part the light purple in the corset matches the light purple on her sleeves whereas her bodice part is dark purple and this beautiful white lace on the trim. And then, um, her overskirt, even though it's not a real overskirt, cause this, the middle part, the glittery purpley part is attached to the overskirt. So it's not like a skirt in between the skirt, but it's, um, the overskirt is a velvet feel with the faux white trim, fur trim at the bottom. Um, this feels nice. It's a dark purple. It has what I think are red poinsettias. They're like, they have a jewel, jewels in the, men the middle, the center of the red flowers that are on her overskirt and then gold embellishments that are the leaves. Really beautiful. And then her underskirt part, which again is just attached to the overskirt, so it's not a separate skirt. It's, uh, I'd say a royal purple, very glittery, super glittery. Uh, my fingers don't really like the feel of glittery, but the rest of her feels very nice. Um, so the glittery is all like designs, uh, flowers, leaves. Yeah, she also, I'm keeping the tissue paper in here, by the way, to make her skirt more full like it is. So she does have dark purple shoes. Hopefully you can pick up the sculpted, sculpted ribbon that's on her two plastic dark purple shoes. If you can't, trust me, they're there because my arms are getting tired of holding her like this. So <laughs> they are there. Um, they are flats, because Disney likes to do flats. Disney store. Huh. Okay. What is really nice, and maybe you don't think this is quite as a great deal of, like, awesomeness, but I think it's amazing, is that her bodice and her skirt are two separate pieces. And, like, usually for um, Rapunzel or even... Uh, any dolls that seem to have two separate pieces, like Milan Belle, which I reviewed a few weeks ago, even though she should have a skirt and a blouse, they have it attached all as one piece. But Rapunzel has a separate bodice and a separate skirt. Like, look at that. That's amazing. That's just, I don't know. That to me really shows quality because they usually don't do that. Now it is a disappointment is there are some loose threads that are on the top of the back of her bodice right here. Granted, I'm not going to like show the back of her cause I'm not going to. Hopefully she will still be $32.98. Um, but if not, I really feel she's worth $49.99. Um, like, her clothes just feel really nice. Her hair, like, I'm not going to take it out, but um, this hair is feels like really good quality. I have another Rapunzel that I'm going to show you. Playline Rapunzel. Though it is with, it did come up with the um, $34.95, $34.99 playset. But... But I think she, this Rapunzel that came with the $34.99 playset, I believe this is the same sculpt that's being used for the current Rapunzels. 
and her sculpt's really good. I like her sculpt. It's a good sculpt. Um, but her hair, look at that. Her hair also does not feel great quality. Like it doesn't feel bad. And I, I don't know hair texture, so I don't know what kind of hair this is. Um, and it's, you know, it's a good length. It's down to her feet, even past her feet, which some Rapunzel's are not that way, but you can tell it's thin. It's not very thick. Whereas even though this Rapunzel is in a braid, her hair is thick, you can tell. And the feel of this hair compared to this hair, very different. So you can see that the face molds are a little bit different. The Disney Playline Rapunzel doll has her glancing to the side and has a lighter shade of pink lips, which is how the current 1999 Playline Disney Rapunzel looks. Whereas the holiday Disney Rapunzel, she's looking straightforward she has a darker pink lip color, and I believe the Holiday Rapunzel sculpt is a bit thinner than the Disney Playline sculpt. So to make sure that uh, that's correct, I'm going to quickly pause the camera, braid her hair to see if maybe it's just the braid on the Holiday one that's making her sculpt look thinner. So I'm going to pause and do that. Also, this will not be a good braid. I'm going to try to quickly do a braid. And I think also when I do the braid, you can tell how much more thick the Holiday Rapunzel is. I will be right back. Okay, this is my not really good braid, but yes, you can tell that the Holiday Rapunzel does have a thinner sculpt than the Disney Playline. And while I think the Disney Playline Rapunzel sculpt is actually more accurate to the character because she has a rounder face, so I think the Disney Playline is more accurate to the character of Rapunzel. She's just so gorgeous. And here are the braids from the back. So you can tell Holiday Rapunzel has just much thicker hair. Um, I'm going to quickly see how they feel. Oh yeah, the Holiday one feels so much better. And I think the Holiday one is taller, but I'm going to take them out of their stands to see. It's gonna be the stands taller, which is, you know, could very well be. I'm gonna try to put Rapunzel in the cross arm moment too. Yes, looks like the holiday one is taller. Granted, the holiday one is wearing shoes. So that is probably why, but even without the shoes, I think she would still be a little bit taller. And I do always, on my Disney Store dolls, keep the shoes on with the plastic jibbers because shoes can fall easily and I don't want them to fall. So they stay. Yeah, she's gorgeous, guys. She's just truly gorgeous. Like, if you like Rapunzel as much as I do, and I love Rapunzel, I just love her. She is my favorite princess, which is why I have this beautiful Rapunzel stocking. Of course, now that I did that, the camera is going to focus on the stocking. Oh wait, it didn't, did it? No, it didn't. Good job, camera. Your roll. Um, she is gorgeous. I so highly recommend her. Um, she, in my opinion, is definitely worth $49.99, but if the sale, the twice upon a year sale is still going on, then um, by all means, get her for $32.98. The annoying thing with Shop Disney is you do have to spend $75 to get free shipping. Every once in a while, there is like an offer that you just have to put in a code to do free shipping, but... Unless you get that, yeah, you have to spend $75 to get free shipping. And I don't know how much shipping is without that because I did have a, a coupon from when my Disney store closed. Which is very sad. I'm not over it at all. But I did have a coupon from when my Disney store closed for free shipping. So for $32.98 and tax, I bought her and I think she's very worth it. She is gorgeous. 
And especially if the current Disney collector dolls, like the um, designer dolls, which are definitely called something that I forget. I could look it up. You know what? We're just going to call it designer dolls. If the current Disney collect collector dolls, designer dolls, um, that are $130 are too much for you, because they are for me, then I highly, highly recommend spending $50 technically $49.99 or $32.98 on this doll because her hair is amazing, her clothes is amazing. She's also, I forgot to mention this, but she's also articulated. So at the wrists, at the elbows, at the shoulder. Let's see, can she move her head up and down? Yep, she can move her head up and down. And I was gonna move her side to side, but then the doll came out the stand. She can move side to side stay stand. Yeah, she can move her head side to side. She does have bend and snap knees and she's so pretty. Now if you have another favorite princess, they should hopefully be doing holiday princesses every year so you can get your favorite. But if your favorite is Rapunzel or you just think she looks gorgeous, because she does, um, or maybe you want a $49.99 or hopefully $32.98 doll so that you can take out her braid and play with her beautiful hair, which is very thick and gorgeous. Um, I'm probably going to keep her in the braid though because, I mean, look how pretty it is. Let me know in the comments, do you have last year's holiday Ariel doll? Are you planning to get this year's Rapunzel holiday doll? And I know, like, the holidays are over, but... She's still gorgeous. I don't think she necessarily has to be holiday. And okay, sure, these red flowers are probably poinsettias, but we can say they're just red flowers. And she's just in a beautiful uh, royal purple dress, which she is, with beautiful faux fur that feels really nice and soft. I love the feel. She's just so pretty. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I was getting distracted by how pretty she is. Let me know in the comments what you think about her. If you think she's worth it, worth it, if you think she's not worth it, if you'd rather spend more money on the designer dolls, which I'm sure have much better details, but they are a lot. <laughs> um, some of them look really cool though. Mulan. Mulan looks actually really neat, but 130. That's a lot. Um, yeah. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness. Thank you, you guys. I have more subscribers now. That's a, uh, wow, amazing. Thank you. And make sure to notify, not notify, make sure to ring the bell to be notified on future videos because there is an item I've been waiting for for a while that's currently stuck in shipping. And as soon as this item comes, I'm totally opening this item on camera because I can't wait. And I'll probably edit that and publish it sooner than Fridays. I usually publish on Fridays, but for this item, if it comes before next Friday, I'll definitely record it and edit it and publish it because I'm just excited to open this item. So make sure to ring the bell so you get notified when my next video is coming out because hopefully this item will come soon. Any guesses on what this item is? Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks again so much for joining me. Seriously, thank you so much. Remember, it's okay to like what you like, be who you are, and stay young at heart. I'm just letting Rapunzel have one last goodbye because she's so pretty. Yeah, she's beautiful. Ah, I mean, look how gorgeous she is. She's gorgeous. Okay, I'll try to stop being distracted to her, not to her, by her and turn off the camera. But she's so pretty in the camera. Look how pretty she is. She's so pretty, and her dress is pretty. She's so pretty, wow. Okay, really done now. Thank you, <laughs> bye.